Last week, I went into a pawn shop and I bought this Megadeth action figure and it's actually taught me a really important lesson about eBay. Let me explain. To do that, I really need to compare it to a bread and butter eBay item. Something like this, the Tommy Hilfiger button-up shirt. Whether it be short sleeve or long sleeve, these things are so common. You often pick them up for about eight bucks in a thrift store. I can generally sell them for about $30 worth of free postage. And I used to do this whenever I saw them in a thrift store until I crunched the numbers. Working off the $8 purchase price, $30 sale price, I would need to sell 10 of these shirts at a $10 profit to make 100 bucks. Whereas, if you have a look at the Megadeth action figure, I bought him for $50 in a pawn shop, and I'm gonna go on to sell him for $125. That's gonna net me a $52 profit. In effect, I would only need to sell two of them to get the same amount of money. But that's not the only point that I wanna make. It's not purely about the money. It's also about the time. Check this out. The sell-through rate of a button-up shirt is anywhere between three to six months. Let's give ourselves 50 minutes worth of time to list the items up and 20 minutes worth of time to send the items off. It's gonna take an hour and 10 minutes worth of prep just to get the items up, and then it's gonna take three to six months to sell these items. If you compare that to the Megadeth action figure, you're only gonna get about a one to two week sell-through rate because it's a really collectible, desirable item. It's gonna take about 10 minutes to list these two up. It's also gonna take about 10 minutes to ship them off as well. In effect, a one to two week sell-through rate and just 20 minutes worth of work to get them sold. So if you work full time and eBay is just a bit of a part time gig for you, wouldn't you want to be buying more Megadeth action figures and leaving those Tommy Hill figure button up shirts on the shelf? It will save you a whole lot more time and it's going to make you a whole lot more money. Having said all of that, I'm a full time reseller and I need some stock. So let's kick off this video by doing just that and we'll dive into the flea market and I'll show you all those low cost items I'm trying to flip for a profit. Pretty cool Adidas shoes. They're not bad, are they? Yeah. 75, man. 75? Yeah. What size? Uh, 11 and a half, I think. Yeah, you're spot on. 11 and a half. Thank you. What's the other one here? 90 bucks? Yep. Let's Sounds do it. Good to you. Let's do it. What about, how many have we got? Logan. Three, four, five, six. Where's your bag, Natty? Just this right here. Oh, okay. Good job, good job, good job. Unreal. Appreciate it, Joe. I'll be back. All good, darling. Thanks, Enjoy heaps. Your day. Great to see you. Five bucks a lot if you want them, mate. Cheats and chong. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Are yeah. they all in good nick? Yeah, mate, they're all good. I just got them all on DVD now, so. Yeah, I hear. Yeah, all right, mate. I'll do that for five. How are you going? Good. This is really cool. That is. How much on that one? 25. 25, okay. Let me just put that to the side. Mm -hmm. How much on that? 25. 25, okay. Um, I might put all of it in there. Yep. I'll add that to my pile. Right on. GoPro and jacket. Oh, you didn't take the shirt. Oh, I'm going to leave the shirt. Okay. But I'll take these two and I'll, uh, I'll work with you on all the other Harley stuff. That doesn't mean you'll get a less than 25. I reckon if I buy a few off you though, that could no, help. No? Because I can put them online and get 35. Will you put them online and get 35 yeah. though? Oh, you will? Yeah. Oh, well then do that. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, I'll keep thinking about it, but thank you for these. Dollar each. Dollar. Have you got any more or is that every... I'd have some more next time, but that's all I've got left today. Okay. No worries. I'll take those. Three bucks. Three bucks. Thank you. This is awesome, man. Yeah. Vancouver, genuine. It's a size small, but it's still genuine Reebok. That's sweet, man. Um, can I pay you for it? You Are you sure? Bacon egg rolls. I did buy bacon and egg rolls. Look at them. I've hooked these guys up with some bacon and eggers. So that's the tr that's the trade off for this jersey. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Look who I've got here. Hey, Look who I've got here. Up. Everyone's at the fleet. Yeah. Jamie's got his store. I'm actually just currently buying off Jamie. I've got these, I've got these Metcons, and I've got these Asics. So Jamie, how much? Two pairs of shoes. 
10 bucks. Yeah. I'll take them for 10. And I've got two jerseys as well. How much are the Where jerseys? Are uh, in there, I think. That one and that one. Yeah, so I got a, I got a South Sydney polo shirt, brand new yeah. tags, and I've got a Liverpool jersey. How much do you want to pay? Um, five each. Yeah. Twenty bucks. Yeah. I think I got two dollars each in the room, so I'm actually making a profit. He's actually profiting at the sleeve. Well done, mate. All right, so twenty bucks for that, and yep. you saw I would have shown the Vancouver jersey as well. Yeah. Gave me a pretty sweet Vancouver jersey, so he's looked after me. And you're selling some stuff here today too, yeah? Yeah, it's going well. Nice. Yeah, mate. I reckon it's not too bad, but I'll give it a go. How much you pay? Give me some listings. Fifty bucks for everything. Fifty bucks. Fifty bucks. Jamie's yeah. looking after you. Jamie, oh, that's that's smart. I guess yeah, it's not too bad. Well, if you put in the time. If I put, exactly, that's the thing. You just got to put in the time. Which Jamie? Right? Jamie's out of the and game. He's still lazy. Yes. He's, he's, he's out of the game. He's still doing his maths at school, Jamie. He is still doing his, uh, oh, what's his the... Mate, these sort of things, what year is it? There's, there's one from 99. 2005. Yeah. Is it the boogeyman, that one there? It's Did yours. you see uh, what, what Jamie got today? Jordans that you got? Yeah. You got these? That's pretty cool, eh? That's it. 1993 on the tag. Pretty legit. I think that's genuine. They wouldn't, they would have, they'd be destroyed, like, like disintegrating if they were just beat yeah. and fake. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Have you looked them up to see what they were? No. It's all five bucks and I was like, yeah. And I was like, what is it? They're in, uh, they're in pretty damn good near. They're not bad at all. So a pretty successful morning in the flea. It was just nice to be back saying hi to everybody. It had been a few weeks since I was last in there. A few sales that have come from it already this week, which is pleasing. The first are a couple of shoes from Joe. I sold a pair of Nike Shocks for $45 and a pair of Adidas NMD R1s. They sold for $50. So that was great. Got my money back of what I spent with Joe and I've still got a few more to sell. The Bundaberg Mutiny Rum Hats. Uh, look, I bought three of them for a dollar a piece. I've sold a big allotment of 20 for $350 a couple of weeks ago. So I was very happy to find these again. I sold one of those three hats for $19. So a pretty good turnaround off just a $1 purchase. Uh, and then there were two shoes that I bought off Jamie. Thank you very much, Jamie. Two really cool pairs of shoes that you would have seen just then. Uh, the Nike Metcons, I've sold them for 50 bucks. And then we also got a pair of Asics Gel Cumulus or Gel Nimbus 14s, I think they were, and they sold for $45. So thanks for looking after me, Jamie. They were some pretty good results too. I think the best buy in the flea though was this GoPro 3. I paid just the $25 for it. And there are comps on eBay for this thing upwards of 150 bucks. I've got the chest mount, a few different pieces of accessories here. So we might be able to get about $180 and I've paid just the 25 for it. So no doubt the best purchase of the day. Pretty excited for this actually. This is the first um, this is the first bit of thrifting I've done since I got home. Because I've, like I said, I've listed everything up and uh, I need to go out and get some more stuff. So I'm here at Mullendine Lifeline. This is my favorite thrift store. I'm hoping that what we can find today out of this store is gonna be enough for the entirety of the next couple of days. I'm really looking to try and find a number of items in here. So uh, let's get in there. Oh, I kind of like the fact that I haven't been in for a month because you just don't know what's gonna be in there. So. Let's jump in and we'll see what we can grab. First one was this, $10. $10 for a, it's a soccer tracksuit pants, Nike dry fit. But for 10 bucks, I just don't know how much you're gonna be able to make on that. If you sell it for 35, maybe there's enough in it. It's in good condition. But yeah, I think I'll put it in the trolley because so far, been pretty quiet. This is always a really good performer for me, so I'll always pick these up whenever I see it, especially for two bucks. That's a pretty good price. Season three and four. Just need to find season one and two. That'll go really well. Even this here. You got three seasons of Buffy and they're complete, but seven bucks. Oh, that is nasty. Seven bucks again. So I don't know how that happens, but you got Fringe, a really good show for $2 and yet all the rest is seven and eight. I don't get that. So I often like to search up shows that I haven't heard of before. So the closer, this one here, five bucks, I can't pick it up, but there's some really good comps for about 13 or $14 just for the one season. So. On this occasion, I'm gonna leave it behind, but if I ever see that show again for maybe one, $2, I'm gonna pick it up. 
there was uh, plenty of sales for this one too, the Hollow Men. Um, it's going for about 15 bucks. I think there was about seven or eight different sales at that price point, but for $4, I don't think 15 is gonna be worth it. But um, yeah, again, one or $2, it definitely would have been. Right, we have made it to Southport. Now, Southport have got four op shops, so I'm hoping that that means that we can find everything that we need here. It shouldn't take more than, I reckon, about an hour. So, hopefully, fingers crossed, wish me luck. I like just randomly finding DVDs like this. $2 for this one, and there were comps on eBay for about $18, $19. So, brand new sealed as well. That should do well. Nothing in the shoes. Fortunately, there's just a lot of wear and a lot of expensive price points, like, for instance, these Nikes. Like, not a bad pair of shoes if they're in good nick, but the soles are just really ratty, and they're $15, so it's just, there's probably no way they're selling even in here, let alone on eBay. I'm trying, guys. I'm really trying, but we're just not having much luck. Second store of the day, three DVDs. I've spent $6 in that store, $20 so far for the day. But fortunately, there are three more stores in the area, so I'm gonna run into those and hopefully this day can pick up. Things slightly picked up in this thrift store, guys. I found some super dry board shorts, but at $12, I had to put them back on the shelf. You can usually get about 30 bucks for those, so they weren't too bad, but not on this occasion. I did pick up these, though. We've got some Tommy Hilfiger casual shorts. I should be able to get about 30 bucks for these. And as you'll see, I've just paid the $8, so that wasn't too bad. Geez, they're priced up super dry in this store, unfortunately. It is a good brand, though, guys, so if you do see it, definitely grab it. And then this one here is a bit of a last resort on the books, which I don't normally do. Absolutely no luck in that fifth and final store. This is everything that I've picked up in two hours of thrifting. It's not all sunshine and rainbows out here, guys. This was an absolute battle today. You can't win them all, I guess. Um, I spent $33. I've got eight listings. I'm surely going to be able to find two more listings lying around the house that I can whack up as well to make my 10 for the day. But I'll tell you, for that $33 spend, there's there's probably a, not a heap of profit because I think the best selling item out of that is probably like $30. So it's been a tough day. So about, I think it was about a week before I went away to the States. Uh, I had a, my usual Monday night game of basketball, but I, I fell down with an injury on my knee. Um, had to go and get an MRI done straight away because I was a few days out from the States. So I was really nervous about how bad the injury was. And uh, the results back were a partial tear of my patella tendon and a stress fracture in my right knee. So it wasn't that bad that I couldn't sort of survive through the trip with it. I managed to get by through the trip completely fine. Um, but I knew that the minute I got back, I needed to get it back into some rehab. Um, so for the last two weeks, I've been here at the gym at midday, every single day for an hour. Um, I've been doing 30 minutes on the bike, um, trying to get 15 Ks into my legs. And then I've been doing some really sort of light um, body weight style leg strengthening exercises as well. And um, I'm feeling a whole lot better for it. Hopefully I can get back to running uh, in the next couple of weeks and I can get back to playing basketball on a Monday night as well because I do really enjoy doing that. Um, but yeah, just uh, I guess all the fatty food of the States as well was a bit of a motivation to get back into the health and fitness. Um, so I'm not really eating up until about 11, 11.30. I'm trying to sort of do that intermittent fasting um, throughout the morning and then um, yeah, having that first meal, which today was just some uh, sushi uh, before I came in and jumped on the bike. So going really well I'm um, just gonna keep at it you just got to be persistent with these sorts of things just like anything um, a bit like eBay listings you just got to keep at it so um, yeah it's been good so far feeling like the knee is getting better each and every day and um, yeah hopefully I can get back on the basketball court soon Check this out guys, we've got some Rugby Sevens player issued gear and I know it's player issued because I spoke to the lady behind the counter. There was a jacket on eBay that went for $190. So to see all of these on the shelf, which is actually four jackets in total, 
This is really exciting. I'm gonna go ahead and pick these up for $30 a piece. I'm gonna try and list them up for $150 a piece, which could be a pretty huge come up. I've actually already sold these tracksuit pants. We've got a $40 sale price in the end for those ones there. So that was really cool. Hopefully they go on to do well. I found a uh, advisor as well, Lauren Brown, is the player that dropped these ones off I worked out as well. So that was awesome. Jumped into another store here and for $10, we've got a super dry jacket. I can go ahead and pick this one up for 10 bucks because I think I can sell it for about 40 to 50. So that was a pretty good turnaround. And then we moved into the hoodies and I picked this one up as well, PE Nation. It's a good brand to be finding if you can, guys. Uh, this one was a $12 price point, really good Australian brand, this one. Um, so I should be able to get about 45 for that. Now, speaking about, I guess, paying up for items, like I, like I was saying at the start of the video, these shoes were a temptation, $65. There were some really decent comps on eBay for $300 in brand new condition. So maybe I could have sold them for about 150 to 180, but on this occasion, I did put them back on the shelf. The very same brand, Dry Rider, it is a good one to be finding. This jacket was $100, but there were comps on eBay for $250 in brand new condition. So could you have bought it for 100 and sold it for maybe 180? Probably, but I left it on the counter on this occasion. I've got this one as well. This one was a good one to find, but as you'll see, they weren't in great condition. The 511, these are the Levi workwear jeans. And you can get about 45 bucks for these. But as you can see, like I said, the condition just not that great. For $15, I had to put that one back on the shelf as well. I did pick up this though. This was a good little finish. We've got the Australian Cinema Collection Volume 1. I'm buying it for eight. I should be able to sell it for 80. Winnie. Little Winnie. Hey mate. Everyone wanted to say hi, so I thought I'd put you in the video. What do you got to say? Say hi, everybody. I need to buy one of these. I need to buy a friend for you. I need a dog. I need to find a playmate for you at my place. You can come over and hang out with them. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? All right, come on. You can come upstairs with me. Don't tell mom. So it's been a pretty big thrift week guys, but uh, it's also been a pretty big week at the new place as well. I've got some updates that I really want to take you through now. So I'm just shooting over to the new house and uh, I'll show you what we've done this week. So plenty happening guys, a lot in the garage as well, which will ultimately be my listing station. That big gap that you can see on the left hand side, that will be where I start to list my items from. We had to move the big box off to the right hand side, so it was good to get that job done. Had some lights put into the room as well, and even some outdoor lighting as well off the garage door, which I think is really gonna look well and serve a really good purpose at night time. And then on the inside in the living room, we've uh, put the TV in place, that was bought off Facebook Marketplace, done the whole rewiring of the lights. Uh, and the TV itself and this is how it's looking at the moment so it's by no means complete but the painting is taking place and my room was finished off as well if you missed the house tour from last week it's right here guys go and check it out thanks for watching